Hey there everybody, this is Shaggo, welcome back to Mega Dimension Neptune V2. In the last episode we got started on Neptune's story arc with a bunch of cutscenes. Um, as you've seen, I have been in uh, Persian CPU Sanctuary and got the hidden treasure there, you've just seen me go and get it. Um, but our next point of call is actually here in the um, Sakura Tree Row. Uh, first, thing, first thing I want to do is I want to point out... Um, the actual first step to getting true end for Neptune's story arc actually happens at this point and it's actually easy to miss and that is to actually accept the guild quest uh, first some practice this is one of those even though it doesn't say it's got a time limit on it uh, this one actually does disappear when um, you uh, when you uh, get into uh, Basically, after the events in um, here, in Sacred Row, which we're going to be doing, the um, is when the uh, that that thing disappears. And if you don't get the uh, mission done in time before you do that, uh, then you kind of miss out on true ending. But as you can see, all of these null points are actually where the enemy in question we can find. So it's basically just Dagu, and it's pretty much found anywhere in any of these as random encounters. In Secretary Row and in uh, First Gen CPU uh, Sanctuary, which is usually when I'm playing this, this is where I usually go to find them since they're a lot more uh, common there than they are in here. Uh, that being said, with because uh, I should mention the random encounters, I'm going to be cutting them all out uh, because the enemies we've seen, the enemies we've seen before, I think at the moment they're all enemies that we've seen in First Gen CPU Sanctuary. Um, and they're just easy, they're all, they're all one shot, they can't do anything to us, so yeah, I'm just cutting them out for the sake of uh, saving time in the video, which probably means I'm going to be doing a lot of editing. Right now, let's just head to the Kirtry Road, and I was going to say not get an encounter. I mean, I could bring him your Nep Yaren to help here, but actually, you know what? I reckon I will. It'll, it'll help in the long run. Well, yeah, it'll help in the long run. I do want um, do want Umio to get more experience than he has been doing. So I think he also needs to adjust everybody's uh, combos. I think. No, my combos are fine. I thought I had to adjust those. So uh, that's one less thing. That's one less thing on my mind. So Nipgear and Umio, kind of how you guys help out. I could give Umio some defensive iron, but I don't really want to. But oh well. Onwards to the main dungeon. I'm actually going to do a dungeon in this video. I quite. Like no, what are you what are you talking about? If Neptune isn't following you, except you kind of this. That that being said, Neptune is probably stubborn enough to uh, not want to do that. Uh, pretty much, kind of pretty much in a similar thing to uh, I want to say that uh, it's kind of similar reasons to doing it uh, encounters. That a lot of the enemies here are probably going to be a little bit easy. To deal with. Kind of being helped by the fact. Is it? Oh yeah, there's two guys. We're kind of at the point. It kind of it's kind of at the point where uh, we are actually able to like deal considerable damage. If I mean, if Umio is doing considerable damage with his uh, standard thing. And it should be fine, right? Like so we can get regular doggos in here, so uh, there's a chance that there's a chance of that, and I think they go in with those. 
I've also got horse birds which want to be uh, difficult to catch but uh, probably a little bit more defensive. Alright we have uh, watch the quest of these things. If you've got a quest for a certain monster you have to defeat you will you'll see that little sword icon that you saw next to the enemy. I thought it might have just been doggers then, so I think the doggers are just in the random encounter areas. Oh yeah, this place is a lot like uh, Zero Dimensions Jingu Sacred Park, I think there's only, there's only two areas. There's like a lot you can actually explore, but I've kind of not, because I've kind of accidentally found myself going the right way. I don't think there's, any, I don't think there's actually any treasures around, I should probably look for those. But at the same time, I should just get along with this. No, 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 I'll do the treasures now. If there are any. If not, then I'll probably just end up cutting over to the. Uh, yeah, there are treasures here. I just see, I see one right there that I've obviously plainly masked. Give me that. It's money. I kind of do need money. Um, off screen, I did um, another level of investing. Is that the only guy? I think that's the only guy. Uh, I did some off screen for. Uh, did some more investing in industry again. Like I said, I only want. Uh, I did kind of want them in. Um, I want that at level 6, and that's the only one I'm probably going to invest in for a little while. To be fair, I probably should go after like, all the enemies as well because uh, money and experience and all that. Actually, there's an enemy here I want to deal with. To be fair, I don't think we're really going to. Unless uh, like everybody misses or we just don't do that much damage to it. Uh, we're not really going to see much of these enemies. Like I said, you're only really here normally in Neptune solo. So there probably is like more likely chance that you are going to uh, see an enemy do something to you. But um, DLC kind of make DLC kind of makes it a little bit trivial, um, especially if um, As I was saying, especially if uh, enemies don't show up in like big groups. I mean, that group was like a group of three, but I still got rid of them. Uh, mainly, mainly due to the fact that I have uh, slash wave with the nep gear. Like I said, you hear nep you hear Neptune on our own, so uh, it's kind of like sort of thing. Maybe you should let the enemies deal with you. I guess more cutscenes. Yeah, Neptune. She kind of, you kind of realize from like the start that you were kind of shadowing her. But if it, this is a damn game, this is Mega Dimension Neptune V two. No effort. You should know Neptune. You really should know Neptune by now. But uh, yeah, Nep Neptune's far too stubborn to uh, deal with things like that. Yeah, Neptune even says so in her own slightly daft way. But anyway, like I said, similar to Secretary Park. So yeah, I think it's basically just like the first area. Except like all the enemies are the same as the first area and there's nothing that's going to poison us at all in the slightest. Um, probably the uh, Pielo Goose probably have a chance to paralyze but uh, 
they're really weakening it. They're really weakening of themselves anyway. And yeah, just like the uh, just like just like in secretary part. The egg the uh, entrance is I think the uh, not the entrance, the uh, way to the boss is somewhere else. Yeah, a, like I was saying, boss fights like over there. Similar to what it was in Sakura Tree. But uh, we kind of have more more uh, treasure to deal with. I think there's some actually behind us. Past where the horse bird is and this guy. Yeah, two treasures up here. I think that's, that's the last treasures we need. Yeah, it's kind of a good idea to go through the treasures because if you're not, um, if you're scouting the area, uh, one of the um, pin treasure hints you could, you might actually get for an area is to find all the treasures. Um, I know, I think for the most part, is not uh, going the wrong way. For the most for the most part, it's actually not uh, that common. I think there's only a few areas where it's actually is common and I think it's only like later on in certain in, um, certain areas but anyway here's the save point let's just grab a save I've not actually done that in a while and uh, let's actually yeah I'm fine I should be fine actually no I'm not I am going to uh... nah I was only going to worry about using a couple of SP charges, but I don't really need to. At least I hope I don't really need to. But anyway, I also want to rearrange the party in such a way that things don't get in the way. Actually, no, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Let's go. I think we've heard that laugh before, Neptune. Of course it's you, Arthur. Um, I think if he kind of gave the hint about an old lady causing shenanigans. And well, she's once again kidnapped Tiffy. Fortunately, fortunately in this, this case, there's no clue here to uh, get the why. Just Neptune. Come on, out, come on, out for um, even if he's not taking you seriously anymore. I don't think anybody really takes half for seriously, apart from like the other bad guys for the uh, power for the sole reason that she's one of the bad guys. Yeah, and that, that tune just wants to make this just wants to make the situation a little bit more silly. But yeah, this is the R4 from the Zero Dimension that we kind of bought last episode. 
well not last episode, but like two episodes ago. If he eats, it's fine. Purple Heart can take care of herself, despite the fact that she has two DLC characters helping her out. But if he joins the party, she's in the active party slot, probably has uh, optimized equipment as well, by the looks of it. Yep. But here we have a fight with uh, Arbor. Uh, nice thing is, with um, Ify, apart from the fact that uh, because of the equipment that she'd be given, she's kind of like at half health and half SP already. She's one of the only other characters who can steal, other than uh, Big Neptune. So, we will give this... I'm going to sit... I want to sit here and buff everybody. Um, no, instead... Yeah, I'll just miss click and do that. What I want to do then in that case, I want to go over here and heal Ify. Make sure she has a heal. Neptune can AO, now AoE attack up everybody. And it's our first time to try and do something. What she does do is absolutely nothing because uh, she's pretty lame like that. From here on, it's just really SP moves. Uh, ideally from behind or from the side. Uh, most of Ify's skills, I believe, are elemental and are ranged. I know a lot of Delphinus is ranged. And I think R4 is weak to light. No, she's, uh, she resists. Is that resist? I think that's resist. But, um... Uh, Yeah, I think with Ify, I'm probably just going to have her do standard attacks. Rather than any of her other attacks, because I don't think... Uh, I think R4 doesn't resist fire. No, she doesn't resist fire. She resists light, apparently. But, uh, don't really do anything with uh, Ify, apart from do standard attacks. Uh, let's see... What I want you to do. Probably this. He'll smash P on everybody. I think now I probably want to do uh, SP moves. With Park Mephi because I kind of want her to do uh, standard attacks. Everybody else can uh, basically deal with R4 with SP. It will do considerably more damage. Kind of have to be careful. I think she still has her uh, big ol' AoE from before, which might very well kill Ify and uh, Umio if they're not in the right, if they are placed wrong. On the other hand, Umio might be able to kill R4 here. If she can't, if he can, great. If not, uh, I get the feeling bad things are gonna happen. Yeah, destroy guy's gonna lay waste to everybody here. And deal massive knockback. Uh, we'll just finish you off with Demonic Inferno then. And uh, other such flavours. Can't go with that. You are out of range, pup. Uh, so you go defend Nepkia, we can probably slash wave and kill you, yeah. And that's our floor then. Simple as that. That being said, you pretty much just fought by pretty much every other time that we fought her. We also get the plan for the Forbidden Twig, which is a useful item if we can get it. Um, basically, if you use one in a dungeon, it actually respawns all the enemies in the area, which is actually useful for level grinding. And there, there is a decent place where we can level grind, probably the best place to level grind. 
Um, actually, it shows up right at the end of the uh, right at the end of the game anyway. But so you might want to pack like a few forbidden twigs. And it's the only way we can get them in the shop anyway. Yeah, there's a reason why our water keeps appearing like a bad smell. Um, we won't know this until later in the game, or, and or maybe just the true ending. No, I think I think Mr. Robot Ninja sees the fact that he's probably going to get his ass kicked uh, should uh, things carry on. Also, he only had uh, he's only uh, friends with Afimojas apparently. Now we did see him talk about a friend uh, Afimojas talk about a friend of his, so this guy must be that friend of his. And there we there they go in a smoke screen. Typical ninja stuff, I guess. And she summoned a monster. That's uh, that's pretty terrible. But yeah, if he's in trouble, we should probably take her to it, like healing, I guess. But yeah, no, apparently if he can come, but now I know who we are, which is like, a start, I guess. Everybody else, yeah, bit anonymous, really. And there's Happy Mojas. Yeah, don't don't forget you rescued that for the uh, Steam Axe.
Oh yeah, the only thing that Steam Axe was actually there for is, uh, well, hmm, yeah, that. Well, I wonder if that could be used as some sort of big realizer. Maybe, maybe not. And here we see one of Steamax's vices is that he can't really talk to uh he can't really talk to girls. I wonder if we'll weaponize that, shall we? And yeah, this is pretty much a lot of lore that like kind of will make sense eventually as to uh, what's going on. And like I said, once once all the uh, once once pretty much all of the um, stories have come to a head, it kind of all comes forward and. Well, oh, it, it's kind of obvious here. Afi Mojas here, he kind of looks like the bad guy, so he might really kind of. And we know he's kind of dealing with Afi Max, and we already know that they're bad, and uh, yeah, he's pretty much the bad guy around here. He's also talking to what appears to be a voice in his head. In the voice cutscenes earlier, it might have sounded familiar, and. Uh, You'll see why. You'll see why in the uh, the final story, the final prop, big story arc. That same voice and that same voice is also going to be like an absolute antagonist as well. I might slightly be spoiling things there, but uh, yeah. Spoiling things, that's something that uh, I really shouldn't be doing. Um, let's see. I think I've kind of lost. Look, where do I check this now? It's not there, it's library. No, it's not library, it's quests. Basically, it tells you the uh, things that you can get. Yeah, you, you, if you don't do the first, some. First, some practice before beating here. It disappears uh, from your uh, thing, so that's that's basically true end out the window. Uh, I'm afraid, but I'm not going for true end in this, this uh, thing. Like I know I say it millions and millions of times, but uh, some it's it's something big enough that you might want reminding. Uh, but anyway, there is one optional thing that I. Could potentially do at the moment. I think uh, this event here is actually uh, our, one of our DLC, new DLC characters. Um, if you've got all the um, character-based DLCs, uh, they start appearing in this story arc. We're playing it normally. Uh, there's one for each nation, um, with the exception of Planetune. If you didn't actually get um, the reason for this. Is that this is the um, DLC that got uh, removed because the licensing for that character uh, expired and I'm kind of fortunate that I actually still have it on the PC version I thought I didn't have it but uh, turns out that I do so we're actually going to see her I was kind of, I was kind of thinking I'd have to uh, do things on the PS4 version of the game because I know I definitely have her on that but Anyways, we're going to continue Neptune's storyline in the next episode. We're also going to be introduced to our first, uh, well, it's technically our third DLC character, but the first one for the story arc. And uh, yeah, progress through the story, I guess. Take care, and I will see you guys later. Ciao.